Hello, and uh, gosh, another month nearly over, and it honestly feels, this month feels like I've done absolutely zilch. <laughs> Um, I've been away for 10 days in South Africa, I had the most wonderful time and I am going to share a bit of a slideshow with you so that you can see what I've been up to and my adventures and everything with the fabulous Vicky. Um, but basically, yeah, just a quick roundup really of what's been happening this month and what we've been doing. I've got, I had a, I've had a very poorly um, cat. So Peggy's been quite poorly. We had to sort of rush her to the vets at the beginning of the month, just before I went away, which was not, not ideal. Um, and that's the noise you can hear now. She's clearly much better. <laughs> I've just literally taken her to the vet. She's had a blood test to see how she's doing, but she's put weight on. She's looking an awful lot better and hopefully is gonna make not a complete recovery because she's quite an old cat. Um, but uh, you know she is doing much much better which is which is such good news um, so yes we've had dog dog antics cat antics um, lost cat boxes all sorts <laughs> this month. Um, and kind of art wise because I sort of set off when did I set off for South Africa um, oh gosh oh, now I've got the dog Dora come here come on Dora you can't play ball when I'm videoing. <sighs> Honestly. <laughs> uh, set off at the beginning of March and I came back on, was back in the country on Saturday. So I haven't done a huge amount. Uh, we had a fantastic workshop. We were drawing Dora uh, in my black dog workshop, which was, um, which was really fun actually. Really, really nice one to draw. And we drew for the first time in ages, probably years, um, drawing on anthracite pastel mat the the very dark gray that they call it charcoal now anthracite uh, pastel mat and um which was really fun and actually reminded me of how much i do enjoy drawing on those that darker surface so i'm definitely going to do some more tutorials and everything on that um south africa was amazing and it was sort of like business and pleasure we, we had some fabulous fabulous times a uh, bit of a mini safari food was amazing company was fantastic of course and we also did some planning so um quite exciting for me I've got some things that I've made some decisions on which I'm I'm really 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 excited for really excited for uh, so we'll have to watch this space because it needs producing and creating and all of that kind of stuff which takes all of the time of course but um, I'm thinking I'm probably be announcing something you know within the next couple of months so yeah very excited about that well a couple of things actually which I'm very excited about um, drawing wise we're still working on the Cavalier King Charles so we're hoping to finish that in the next few weeks um, I've got the Academy opening again in April April the 3rd now this is going to be the last time it opens for a little while um, so if you are planning on joining get in because we're not um, things might change things that can always change but the plan is that then it won't open for a good few months um, usually it's about 90 days but um, we're thinking this time it's not we're going to leave it a little bit longer um, so that we can actually give you something else which is again very very exciting um, so yeah we open again on the 3rd of April we've got some fantastic tutorials coming up I've got my live streams that are coming as well which I've got a live stream live drawing stream on this Sunday um, which is the 26th of March 26th of March and then I've got another one on the 2nd of April both from the same picture so we're drawing the eye this coming Sunday on the 26th and we're going to draw the ear on the 2nd of April and then very excitingly I'm going to finish the whole tutorial which you'll be able to have access to in the Academy so you can either do it yourself on your own or you can join me in the Academy and have the rest of the piece um, to finish as well which is really good um, it's the first time I've done that actually normally I kind of choose a a piece or a picture or whatever but this time we're going nice and slow and steady I'm going to be giving you so 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 much information on pastel mat um, it's funny this this month I've had more and more and more questions about pastel mat or queries about pastel mat and I've done quite a lot of videos that are going up on YouTube that will be coming through uh, week by week about pastel mat and how it works and what to expect and all of that and all its little idiosyncrasies and all of that kind of stuff um, it really is the most fantastic 
surface oh that's Dora walking around it really is the most fantastic surface however some people really don't like it and and I have to say that is absolutely fine you know there are certain papers I really don't like there would be a reason for me not to like them they, they don't suit me I have to use too hard pressure that kind of stuff so if you what I would say is if you try a paper and in the first initial half an hour you don't like it that is a really normal feeling to experience if you want to get to grips with a paper and you do actually want to use it and you think oh I really would really like to use this you honestly have to you've got to finish a whole portrait. You've got to put the work in to be able to understand how a surface works. So, you know, don't do half a picture and then go, oh, it's, I hate this paper, it's rubbish, it eats your pencils, all of that kind of, you know, um, that stuff. Uh, give it chance. Always give whatever you're using chance so you can get used to it, you can, you can understand the techniques that you have to use on it, all of that kind of stuff. Um, but I've got lots and lots of videos coming around pastel matte, which is my favourite surface. I've just started a new commission, which anybody doing pet portraits will, will, will know totally my frustration when we say, you know, it's a memorial portrait. There were not very many great photos, sadly. And I've chosen one which actually is a lovely pose, but the quality and everything is, is not brilliant. However, I started it yesterday and it's looking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> even though I say it myself um, because I'm not trying to put anything into it that's not there but because of my knowledge and because I know how a, a dog's face is structured and all of that kind of stuff the more I do with these really bad photos the more I put in not detail wise but structure so I'm not trying to put lots of hair strokes in I'm trying to really look at the structure and how I can bring in extra tonal values, extra lights and darks and everything so that we can really get the structure of the, the, the dog's face. Um, and it occurred to me that this would make a really, really great either YouTube video or a tutorial, you know, taking a very poor quality photo where, you know, the eyes, you can't really see what's going on. You can't really see the shapes, but all you can see is sort of a little bit of light and a little bit of dark. Um, I, and I think that's that's something I'm going to uh, I'm going to have a look at doing, you know, find in my archive some really poor photographs. I've probably got some of my own actually, um, and and look at creating a short video on what to concentrate on, what not to bring in, um, and and how actually you can work from a poor quality photo. Some photos are too far gone. Some photos you just cannot work with, but some you know, if they've got enough light and they've got enough dark, actually they're, they're going to be fine to work with. So I'm working on that and I've got the most beautiful, beautiful full body portrait to do of a Columbus Spaniel, which I'm so, so, so looking forward to. Gorgeous photograph. Um, and I'll probably bring a little bit of the background in there as well. Uh, we'll, we'll have to, we'll have to see, but a really lovely photo. And then I've got my next so I've got three tutorials that are coming up. I've got the rest of the dog that we're doing in the live streams. I have got a new challenge coming out, um, which is gonna be quite exciting. It's a floral piece, which I'm quite excited about. I can't wait to get started on it, I have to say. And then I have a new big tutorial for the Academy, which is a full tutorial of, um, it's a human subject, human and floral subject. Full tutorial, background, face, hair, flowers, the lot. <laughs> We're just missing a dog, might stick a dog in there as well. Uh, so anybody who's wanting more human stuff, uh, there's more and more and more going into the academy every month um, around the humans and there's more of the floral stuff as well. I, I'm not going down the botanical route, botanical, the strict b botanical route, you know, where everything has to be absolutely perfect and everything. It's more about just enjoying drawing with colour and stuff like that. So, so those are coming very soon into the academy. Um, I've got, um, oh my goodness, I've got, so I've also been given permission to draw the most amazing Arab horse. Um, and what's beautiful about this horse is the, the lighting and the shine and the vibrancy of the colors. It's just the most incredible photograph. 
so that is going to be coming up as well I, I don't know goodness knows when April May May June maybe um, and then I've also been given permission um, I've which I'm going to do a full tutorial on as well um, it's another otter piece but it's going to have the background it's got two otters oh my goodness honestly you would not believe this photo it's absolutely stunning so that's going to be a full piece it's not going to be huge um but that's going to be a full tutorial as well with background and everything um so that's what's that's what's coming up and then anything else that i decide to <laughs> to bring in um we're going to be doing in art club actually uh we're doing our uh, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel um, which we're hopefully going to be finishing soon and then I'm going to bring in some some different elements into art club as well we might do a little bit of uh, some exercises that are maybe sort of like one one week we do one thing another week we do another something like that um, just to get us sort of thinking a little bit differently about how things are working so that's that's quite exciting as well um, we launch the latest challenge which is the dog's nose uh, which has gone down really really well uh, lots and lots of people have worked on that it's a quick one it's very simple gets you drawing structure and it gets you using your pencils which is great so if you haven't done the dog's nose do do have a, a, a look at it uh, oh and then really excited well excitingly for me <laughs> not very excitingly for you um i've bought a new streaming box so i'm i'm starting to to sort of slowly upgrade my equipment my equipment that i have is is pretty good but i'm starting to to just upgrade it a little bit and um so i bought a streaming streaming box which means that i can have multiple cameras my ipad my phone my computer all plugged into one place and it means that i can change the view from time to time so I can just sort of you know get flip from one camera to another camera to another camera to another camera which to me is really really exciting I've also upgraded my microphone so that's that's about it really um oh the other exciting thing that happened at the beginning of the month was I had a a, a new photo shoot um which was really really good I, I actually really enjoyed it I hate having my photo taken but I really enjoyed it so I'm just going to follow up with a little bit of a slideshow give you uh, or show you some of the video the photos that I'd taken on the photo shoot, little little sample of them, and also um, some of the photos that I took when I was in South Africa. So as usual, thank you all so much for your support and um, here's to another fabulous, fabulous month. <laughs>